Well, it's been almost 48 hours since police say a U.S. Army reservist shot and killed 18 people in Lewiston, Maine. The victims range in age from 14 to 76. And as of right now, the hundreds of agents searching for that suspect still haven't found it. Yeah, new right now, the shelter in place order for people living in southern Maine was just lifted in the last half hour or so. Laura Hefley is in Maine now with the latest on the manhunt. Heavily armed police are scouring the woods in southern Maine, and divers are searching the Androscoggin River. Part of their focus, a boat dock, where they found this car belonging to Robert Card, the suspect in Wednesday night's mass shooting in nearby Lewiston. The river is a big piece of this. The car was located there. Uh, uh, evidence is located uh, at, at, in, the, in the vehicle or right there along the, the shores of the Androscoggin River. A law enforcement source tells CBS News the evidence includes a firearm that Card legally purchased. Law enforcement sources say he had access to numerous other guns and they are tracing each shell casing found at the scenes. Police say Card opened fire inside a bowling alley and restaurant using a semi-automatic assault rifle with an extended magazine and a scope. Last night, SWAT teams, K-9 units and helicopters searched Card's hometown of Bowdoin, focusing on one home in particular. Law enforcement sources tell the Associated Press they found a suicide note and Card's cell phone. Some of the 18 victims have been identified, 13 were wounded, three critically. Often these rounds will hit bone, shatter bone, and the bone itself becomes a missile or a projectile. According to the Gun Violence Archive, there have been 567 mass shootings in the U.S. this year. Laura Haefeli, CBS News, Lisbon, Maine. As the manhunt continues, the state medical examiner's office said all 18 victims from Wednesday's mass shooting have been identified.